Ambassador Miyashenko, uh, Ukrainian ambassador to Australia, thank you very much for joining us on Australia in Space TV. Well, happy to be here. Uh, it's my first time at the you know, Space Forum in Adelaide. Uh, happy to come and explore the opportunities. Yeah, what, what's the, called a, the, the key thing that you'll hear more to learn about space or Australian space industry? Mm. Uh, but also something we have covered in the past is the importance of space in conflict given the Ukrainian-Russian conflict right now. Yeah, your general main purpose for being here today? Oh, look, there is a little bit of everything what you just mentioned. Firstly, Ukraine is a space, has a very vibrant space industry, which goes back from the you know old days, and we have the legacy of that. And uh, as you know, in the Soviet times, Ukraine was a center of space industry. We have uh, Yuzhmash in Dnipropetrovsk, and which is now called Dnipro, by the way, uh, which is producing some of the you know state-of-the-art missiles, which are used both for military and uh, for civilian purposes to launch satellites into space and whatnot. So we do have um, a talent R&D centers there, which are also producing lots of innovation in the space industry. So also out of it, um, I see opportunities between Australia and Ukraine and, and on, on a commercial side, basically cooperating uh, on horizontal launches, for instance. And I have recently uh, contributed uh, to the joint venture which was created between founders from Ukraine and an Australian Space Centre who launched a joint venture on the horizontal launch of you know of commercial satellites into space uh, which could be done here in the region you know from the from the board basically from the wings of the civilian aircraft and they can take up up to 200 payload into space and the price of it and the cost of it is half the cost of what the you know vertical launch is. So this is just one of the examples. But on the military side, for sure, I mean, uh, I think this war has really uh, exposed all the vulnerabilities. Uh, when the war started, uh, Russia has a cyber attack via sat satellites, and they've really blacked out Ukraine um, um, temporarily. And we had to deal with that. We had to find an alternative. But it actually demonstrates that it turns the war uh, all the assets in space become military targets and you need, we need to be ready for that. But also Ukrainian uh, soldiers who are in, a, in, in, in space, so on the space side, on the intelligence side of it, they've been trained uh, by um, our partners and friends in terms of how to use uh, space for reconnaissance and for, for intelligence. And currently many Ukrainian soldiers are on, you know, getting training in space. Yeah. The other aspect, and I mentioned uh, we were just in San Francisco and I was speaking to a Ukrainian company under defense in a cyber security context, and you mentioned Viasat, which was almost a cyber attack on satellites as well. Maybe just comments or observations on space and cyber security uh, in that mm. context as well Look, becomes it's, critical. It's, it's very highly um, you know, intertwined and interlinked basically, because yeah. now with cyber you can deactivate something down out in space, you don't need to destroy it physically. But if it malfunctions or doesn't work, it, it's not, you know, delivering on the purpose of its existence. So it's it's important that we have, uh, you know, enough cyber capabilities to defend from those attacks. But uh, you know, it was, as with anything else, there is so much, you know, development, you know, ongoing, right? Yeah. So it's 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 an ongoing struggle, as. Um, um, you know, we're investing in R&D and the enemy is investing in R&D. So yeah. we have to be prepared and ready uh, uh, to, to be able to fend it off if it happens. Uh, but definitely space is, is very important and especially in terms of war, it plays a, a crucial role in your ability to use um, um, the, 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 the data, the intelligence which is coming out of it. And, and you, it's, it's important to know how to use that data, yeah. right? And it's important how you can apply it to something more practical uh, either you on you know defense or attacks you know offensive you're doing counter offensive it doesn't matter but it's important that 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 you know you you can quickly channel it through analyze it and actually come up with recommendations uh, on an operational level. We saw Poland at the Avalon Air Show, uh, the Poland Space Agency, uh, which was sort of unique, I think, uh, in a, from an Australian perspective, to start to see these uh, Eastern European countries coming in and uh, representing their space agencies. Who are some of your key partners uh, in Ukraine in terms of your space uh, sort of ecosystem? Look, um, um, internationally Ukraine has been cooperating with a number of countries in the space and uh, back about 20 years ago we had a very successful program with Brazil for what's called sea launch for, yeah. the, for the launch of the satellites into space. But we've been, I mean, apparently during the last nine years there have been a lot of uh, 
um, communication or cooperation with our you know, Western countries. To be frank, I don't have the details because uh, this is just not part of my remit, uh, but I understand there's been kind of different um, avenues which have been explored uh, with, 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 with um, different countries. Apparently, uh, I also met the space, um, uh, Polish Space Agency at, at Avalon nice thing, when yeah. I was there, and, um, and it was a good meeting. We're now, by the way, seeing how we can cooperate between you know, Ukraine, Poland, Britain, and Australia combined yep. on the space side of it. So, so I think um, there could be an interesting track. Uh, well, maybe to finish off, I've in interviewed uh, Enrico Palermo just earlier today. Uh, is this an opportunity you've taken to meet with the Australian Space Agency or you've met with them before? I, I met with them before and actually I, I got a special invite to come here from the, from, right. from the agency. Okay. So they invite me over here along with the Andy Thomas Foundation uh, as our guest. And it looks like I'm the only ambassador here, which, <laughs> you so. you know, which is, feels a bit special. Yes. Uh, you know, as we have Budget Week in, 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 in Canberra, everybody's in Canberra, but yeah. I'm here. <laughs> so I think a bit lucky because, you know, uh, I don't. I, I feel. I feel there is, you know, recognition of that. But look, I appreciate the opportunity to learn more about space industry, to go and mingle with companies and meet different uh, organizations. Uh, I think it's it's all important to build those links, and then build on that and and follow up and uh, and create some tangible uh, progress in in that in that sector. Well, look, it's an absolute pleasure to have you on Australia and Space TV, Ambassador, and sure, uh, all pleasure. the very best for the conflict as well. Uh, and our thoughts to the people of Ukraine. Th thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.